Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Amazon Affiliate Ride Along series. And I first want to thank all of you for the response so far. I've got three subscribers from my last video and I'm so pumped. Thank you for the emails and comments and even some of the questions that you guys sent to my email, which I'll follow up with another video down the track. But uh, the questions that you asked about backlinking, social media and, and about on-site SEO is very, very important in this uh, ride along. So I want to get to that. You're not going to miss out on anything. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to give you a quick update as to what's been going on. It's been like 24 hours since my last video was posted. So in this video, I want to show you a few things on how to automate your social media as well as drive authority back to your website. So it's a two for one package and it's an awesome way to start your website on the right foot. And Google loves to see social media. Now you can't really go without social media these days because Google uses that as a indication factor along with links to validate if it's actually doing good for people. It's a two part upvoting series for Google to kind of understand what your website is about and how people are reacting to it. And if you're missing out on that, then you're screwing up everything. <laughs> Very quickly, I'm using a WordPress website. I didn't cover that in my last video. Some people were asking me what kind of website you're using, you're using HTML or Drupal or whatever the hell. I'm using WordPress just because it's got all the plugins and it's all optimized and they have a bunch of themes. Anyway, back to social media automation as well as authority stacking that shit to get those awesome SEO rankings. So we're looking towards the foundation of our website. A good way of starting a website is setting up your social media profiles which is a given, everyone should set up their social media profile for every platform they could get their hands on because at the end of the day, send a backlink from that social media website or web2 or bookmarking website, then that means more linking authority and more link equity in your money website. I used Jetpack for the first phase of getting my content links more or less syndicated posts to Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr and a few other social media websites that are important or also Google Plus. I'm using Jetpack and then from Jetpack I'm using IFTTT and IFTTT is free and it's awesome and it basically syndicates all your content further to other social media networks, bookmarking websites and web too. Now why do we need IFTTT? Basically it does everything that Jetpack doesn't do. It gives you a wider platform of social media networks and bookmarking sites as well as web twos to post your links to. You're probably thinking, John, if you're going to do that, then you're going to have duplicate content penalties and panda penalties. Yes, very, very true. And I plan to tackle that as we go along with this video. I'm using a really smart method. We are leveraging link juice off Twitter and we're using Twitter as the main source of further syndicating our social media posts. When I'm syndicating straight from, from Jetpack to Twitter, it creates a t.co link. And that's a Twitter link, which basically goes straight through Twitter, just link buffering in between links, so you don't get any kind of um, penalties. We're getting the links from Twitter. So any status that is posted on Twitter, I further syndicate through IFTTT. I syndicate to Blogger, Weebly, Dingo, or all these other kind of social media and web twos and bookmarking websites. And that it uses the Twitter embed code on these web2 blogs as well as leaves a .tco link on the social media profile leveraging the domain authority. And in this episode, we're going to talk about some cool stuff that has been going on this week. There's already been traffic coming to the website and I haven't done any link building whatsoever. So stay tuned and see what I did and you'll be able to easily apply it to your own website and start seeing those early rankings. So at the moment, the content is not completed. I'm currently getting streams of content done every day from my writers. They're pretty on the ball. I get about four articles, sometimes to six articles a day and I'm, and I'm all posting it myself. I'm focusing more on the, the URL structure of the keywords when they're being used in the permalink as well as different on-site SEO strategies. So I'm using the keyword in the title tag, the URL as well as H2 and H3 tags. So I'm making sure that my website is optimized and I'm using anywhere between 500 to 1000 words per article. But I've been posting articles every day to keep the website fresh and full with content. But that is not the thing that's been getting these rankings. And I believe it's been because of IFTTT. So I'm not going to go into the full in-depth um, tutorial as to how I did that. 
It's pretty simple stuff. You can look it up on Google. It's not so hard to actually find a bit of an IFTT T SEO guide. Guarantee you're going to find something on first page and it's probably a Brom semantic mastery or something like that. And these guys are the people who coined the IFTTT networks and really kind of use them in their own business. We could we could go in all kinds of so certain directions with this, but this shit works. And it's not complicated. You can keep it as complicated as you want, but you can keep it as simple as you want. As I said, I'm not going to go into a full on tutorial in this. This is just like to give you an overview as to what's going on. If you want to learn more as to how I built this network, the strategy I'm using, then comment below and like and subscribe and tell me that you want to see that tutorial and then I'll whip something up. But essentially, Going back to what IFTTT does, it's been building up authority, building up authority links and making some really, really cool social media signals. That's the only thing I've been doing so far. I haven't bought any links already. I've been seeing keywords and pages start to pop up in Google. Pretty awesome keywords, mind you, for some really buyer intent keywords that will go straight to Amazon and that will convert into sales eventually. But at the moment, I'm getting 10 to 20 visits per day now. It's only been less than a week of this site being completely live. I've still got a bunch of articles that I got to post on the website. I've still got to do some interlinking structures on the website. I haven't done any siloing whatsoever and you guys are probably like, what the hell is siloing? It's all good, I'll be going over that. I've just been sticking to the basics. So right now, I've been posting a bunch of articles. I've got about 20 articles on the website and I've created an IFTTT network. But uh, that's been the update as to the Amazon Affiliate Ride Along series. This is episode two. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.